Here we want to look at a nice viewer suggested number theory problem from Morocco. So let's look at the statement. Our goal is to find all non-negative integers x, y, and z such that x squared plus y squared equals 3 times 2023 to the z plus 77. There's actually a hint that's kind of built into the statement of this problem as is fairly common. And that hint really takes you almost all the way to the solution. So if you guys want to try this problem without the hint, now would be the time. And now let's get that hint on the board. So I think the way that it's written into the wording of this problem is the fact that we have the number 3 here. That kind of gets you to think about the number 3 and maybe primes that are congruent to 3 mod 4. That, together with the fact that we have an x squared plus y squared over there on the left hand side, tells us that maybe we should look at what the prime factorization of sums of two squares are. And there's a very well-known result in number theory that says every prime of the form 3 mod 4 that is in the factorization of a sum of two squares occurs with an even exponent. So. I'll let you guys look up that proof. I have a playlist where I do a bunch of stuff with sums of squares from back when I was teaching a number theory class. So if you wanna look there, that would be good. Another thing that we'll use is the prime factorization of 2023 is seven times 17 squared. So notice that seven is congruent to three mod four as well. Okay, great. So now let's jump into it. Maybe we're gonna look at a very first case which will give us a solution, and that's the case when z equals zero. So let's see what we get if z is equal to zero. That makes 2023 to the z just equal to one, which means the equation that we need to solve is x squared plus y squared equals 80. Three plus 77 is clearly 80. Now you can play around with this and it's not too hard to just guess and check your way until you have a solution. You can see that x and y definitely couldn't be 9 because that would give us 81. They could possibly be 8 and if you check 8 then the other one works to be 4 because 16 plus 64 is 80 and so that gives us an immediate solution of xy equals 4, 8, or 8, 4. But then you can check that nothing else works. So if one of them is equal to 7, then what you have left over is not a perfect square. If one of them is equal to 6, what you have left over is not a perfect square, and then so on and so forth. Okay, so now let's move into case two, and case two will be given by z bigger than or equal to 1. That means we can take this equation, write 2023 20, as seven times 17 squared, and then maybe mess around with it a little bit. So let's see what we get. So we'll have x squared plus y squared equals three times, so that's gonna be seven to the z times 17 to the two z, and then plus 77, okay. So we see that we can factor a seven out of this term, given that z is bigger than or equal to one, and we can factor a seven out of this term as well. Again, that's because 77 is seven times 11. So we can go ahead and write this as seven times, and then left over, we'll have three times seven to the z minus one times 17 to the two z plus 11, given the fact that 77 is seven times 11. Okay, nice. So next we see that seven divides the right hand side, but that tells us that seven divides the left hand side, but that tells us that seven squared divides the left hand side. And that's because seven is a prime of the form three mod four, which means it occurs as an even exponent in the prime factorization. So it occurs with at least an exponent of two. But if seven squared divides x squared plus y squared, then that means seven has to divide this one right here. So that tells us again that seven divides three times seven to the z minus one times 17 to the two z 
plus 11. Okay, but now immediately we see that this means that z has to be equal to 1. And let's see why that's the case. So I'm going to say that this implies that z equals 1. And that's because otherwise we would have 7 dividing 11, which is clearly not true. Those are both primes. But then you can take this value of z, z equals 1, plug it into this right-hand side here, and you'll see that that reduces to the equation x squared plus y squared equals, I'll go ahead and just write down the prime factorization here. This is gonna be two times seven times 439. But if we look at this, we see that seven, again, which is three mod four, occurs with an odd exponent, which means there is no solution to this equation either, again, by this fact that we had over here. So putting this all together, we see that z equals zero provides us with the only solution. And that solution occurs when x equals four and y equals eight or vice versa. And that's a good place to stop.